hey guys welcome back to my channel it's a brand new hair video for you today i know it's late in the day but i had to give it to you it is not a regular hair video i am prepping myself for my wash day however from the last video until now i did not touch my hair because i had a bad flare up and it's still going right now my scalp is super tender, which is why I wasn't able to do anything, wasn't able to touch it, which is why my hair looks like this, like I don't belong to anybody, okay? <laughs> if you are new to my channel, I do suffer from CCCA alopecia. I've been diagnosed over a year now. I've been dealing with the stress and drama since June of last year when I first found a bald spot. And now, because I have the diagnosis, I know what I'm dealing with, kind of, sort of. I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. But right now, this has been the worst flare-up that I've had since I've been diagnosed. I have not been able to touch my scalp. I have not been able to do anything. And this right here is pushing it because it's completely tender all over. And I don't know why. <laughs> like, if you're going to take the crown, just take the crown and leave everything else. <laughs> It's just like going, it's just attacking everything. Like there are spots here, here is itchy and tender. I just don't know what else to do. So I'm prepping myself, it is now, today is uh, the 1st of October, that's number one, and it's now 8, not 8, 7.08 p.m. This is how late it is in the day and this is how, um, much I didn't want to touch my scalp today because usually I try to push my videos out and do what I need to do but I just couldn't I couldn't risk it so now I'm trying to prep myself um I believe I will be washing my hair tomorrow not tonight because it's cold and I do not want to get sick but it's just it's been a struggle this week I couldn't twist my hair in or the bantu nuts that I normally have because my scalp was tender um I wasn't able to wash my hair because one time two scalp was super tender to the point where I just couldn't touch it. And now when I'm going through, like it's hard for me to actually see all the patches and spots because I know they're there because I feel, I feel them. It sounds weird, but I feel them, especially where it's super tender. There's going to be hair missing there. Where it's super itchy, there's definitely going to be hair missing there. Like, I don't know what's going on with my scalp. So I'm going to try my best to figure out what I can use this wash day to help. I think I want to make an uh, Amla hair mask. Um, I think I have some aloe. I might add some aloe in there in my wash day routine. Like, I just need something. I need something to soothe this itching and whatever's happening because i'm not happy i'm really not last week i just was over it this week i am over it <laughs> i hope i'm not over it next week because child, i don't know what i'm gonna do if i'm super over it like it's just too much it's a lot it's a lot going on i don't know how to manage this right now i i don't want to say that i'm giving up but i feel like you know it's still, my scalp is still not as bad as most people. However, I think a lot of people mistake the fact that I still have a lot of hair in my head for the fact that I'm not really suffering or anything or I don't have any issues with my hair. But my scalp is really hurting. It's really on fire. There is like, I try my best not to scratch, but then, you know, yeah, I scratch and then that makes it worse and that's the problem here right if you see this spot this spot right here it doesn't look bad right but it's riddled with scars and it's itchy and I just don't know what to do <laughs> like I don't know what to do you know what I mean like my hair is breaking like left right and center there is like I try my best not to use combs but I have to or else I'm screwed like, I'm going to be screwed right now because, hello. <laughs> oh, my word. I don't know. But listen, that is it. I just wanted to give you guys a video today, even though it's late. It's an update. I'm still dealing with the flare up. This is week number two. So I'm going to try my best to wash my hair. 
I'm going to really take my time. Like, I usually take my time, but, like, my watch is probably going to be extended by, like, two hours now because I can't pull and tug. I can't quickly detangle. I can't quickly comb it out. Like, I can't do anything quickly at the moment. So if something usually takes 45 minutes, it's probably going to be doubled. Like, I, it's just a lot to deal with. <laughs> but that is it. I pray I, pray I don't cut my hair. <laughs> oh, that's, that's that prayer that's going out in the unit. I pray I do not cut my hair, okay? <laughs> because I don't know if you know that... Even though you're dealing with the scalp issues, it's the fact that combing the hair out makes it worse. It pulls. You lose more hair. So it's like, I can't leave the tangles in, but I have to comb my hair out. So what do I want to do? So yes, I pray I don't cut my hair. And I hope that this flare up goes down. I even thought about the foods that I was eating. And I was trying to think about if I had anything in excess but i really didn't everything is just what's been in my diet for the longest time like i mean sure i went out a couple of times i had a few drinks maybe it's alcohol i don't know <laughs> i'm not trying to find anything to blame on it i just needed to stop it's no longer summer so i should not be feeling all of this tingles and all this stuff that's happening it's winter like you know but i feel like winter is probably going to be a lot worse because it's, it's drier because it's cold and I can't walk around with a wet head in winter. I'm sorry. I did not mean to vent, but this is my frustration right now. But that is it. <laughs> and I'll see you back here for another video. Bye.